I had my double chins. Your double chins, yeah. It's Richard Moore here with uh, Tony Napton, the course photographer for Southern Race Course. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions, Tony. You've been a photographer here for how long now? Oh, 20 years now, Rich. 20 years. For my sins, yeah. So looking through the lens at the course, is there any things that you pick up that you think as someone coming to the course they'd be interested in? Obviously we talk a lot about the breeds of horses that do well here, things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of breeds you think do particularly well here? Well, Dubai Destination's going really well at the moment. Yeah. Um, in the old days it was Captain Rio's, but they seem to have dropped off a bit now. Uh, yeah. Chineurs are coming back, we've had one today I think. Um, yeah, today, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it depends on distances as well. Dubai destinations tend to do well on the longer distances. Uh, yeah. There's been a couple of, like one, two finishes and they've been over either two mile bumper meetings here yeah. or the one mile four and again we just had a Dubai destination there came yeah. second you know came so, second yeah um, and what about uh, do you think that it's the US dirt, dirt breads do well as well here I, th or? I think possibly yeah because um, you can get the sloppy going in, in the US I'm not a major expert on that sort of thing but yeah. uh, maybe that's got a little bit to do with it but yeah. Um, yeah yeah I mean definite definite different breeds I mean it used to be the case where at Wolverhampton the same sort of breeds won at uh, Southern as well but that seems to have changed a little bit now and it's definitely a lot different from Lingfield you know so it's a very different surface do you think Wolverhampton the poly track to this oh, yeah, fiber yeah. sand as, yeah. as you know it used to be the same same surface but yeah. um, uh, yeah, it's it's a lot faster into Wolverhampton now, but uh, yeah, yeah. a lot of the trainers seem to think that if this place was poly track, that uh, it'd be the best track in Britain. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. Yeah, absolutely, they because of the long long straight, you know. But no, they do tend to um, favour the middle of the track here, mm. and they are starting to drift across to the stands rail. Right. Um, Is that something you've noticed over the past few years? Then. Well, yeah. I mean, looking through the lens, you do notice these things, you know. And uh, I'm starting to stand on the far side a lot more. Right. Yeah. To take the horses side on instead right. of them coming up my side. Uh, but I know the inside is, is fairly slow, so if you get stuck right on the rail on the inside, then you are struggling. So yeah. maybe the draw can make a bit of a difference here, you know? Yeah, so. yeah. a lot of people say uh, on the straight five as well. Do you think there's any sort of draw bias on the straight five? or? I, 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 I would say, you know, the lowest door. this quarter basically, yeah, from uh, from uh, the stands rail up, up, up to the first quarter, you know? But, yeah. Uh, and maybe the you know in, in the middle, but if you're on the, far, on the inside rail, then I think you may be struggling a little bit. But, but again, if, if you have a drop of rain here, it speeds up. So yeah. and through the winter. Is it noticeable then that it gets a lot faster when the when the rain oh, comes. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. And the, the kickback is, isn't an issue there either. It's not as much of an issue anyway. No. Um, so yeah, yeah, different. You know, I mean, in, in, when it's frosty, and as you know, I mean, last year here, the lads here were working the track for 28 days in a row. Yeah. 28 nights, sorry. Going through the night. Harrowing keep it, it going. Yeah, rolling it, and and as you know, the, the speeds went right down. Mm. And it was up. the only. I think it was the only course that kept going through all that bad it weather was, we had, wasn't I it? I mean, the staff here are fantastic. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, uh, I wouldn't have stayed here for 20 years if, they, if you know, if they didn't look after me and, no, and, and vice versa, I suppose. Comes, but, yeah. uh, it's a great track and uh, it's an underrated track in my eyes. Yeah, uh, on the all weather side. And um, what about the jumps? Do you, uh, do you take photographs of the jumps as well? I do. Yeah. Do you yeah. think there's any sort of? Uh, is it quite a tight track? You no, know, it's flat left-handed. So is it? Uh, um, it can be with big fields. I think the maximum field here is 14, I believe. So, mm -hmm. uh, and. But it, again, good being on the inside of, of the out all weather though, do you think that makes it tighter than? I think so. Yeah, on the bend, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, sometimes there's a bit of a scrimmage on the first bend of, of each race, mm. uh, but no, it, it tends to be quite good. You know, it's um, but there's a really good cover in the grass here, mm. and and it drains fairly well, doesn't it? I it think, does. Now. It yeah. does. It's, uh, it Didn't keeps racing to, when others don't. Yeah, uh, it's a bit like Doncaster. I mean, that's a, a good draining course you know yeah, yeah definitely. but I, I remember Pat Edry telling me one day or not telling me but I overheard him say that uh, he says when this was a flat track uh, even when the all-weather track was here because we used to have three or four flat meetings here in, on in, the turf in, on the turf in amongst uh, the jumping meetings as well yeah, yeah. he said it was a really really good track mm, so mm. Uh, and, the, like that. and the grass is a good covering so uh, and what about the hurdles because we seem to get a few more fallers over the hurdles here than the other tracks do you think it is because of the plastic bases or the plastic well as a photographer i love those yeah you like uh, those they're nice they hurdles. have to jump it they have to jump them yeah, they can't um, knock them down and in a personal opinion and i'm no horse person don't get me wrong but I think the other ones, I mean, they cause splinters and everything. So yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the way forward with these. These hurdles. are a safer fence, yeah. I absolutely think because so. They're, because they're uh, mobile, aren't they? They can bring them in and out really quickly. They're mobile, quickly. and if, the, if a horse does hit, then there's plenty of padding on the jumping side, jump mm -hmm. off side. And 
yeah, we tend not to get man too many injuries. No, uh, no, that's wood, right. You know, so. So the, I mean, you, obviously you photograph at other courses. Um, any other jumps courses you photograph at? Yes, I'm at uh, Doncaster and Leicester. Right. And yeah. my other track is Red Car, which is all flat. Yeah. Um, yeah. All good tracks. Um, quite a hill. Donca quite a hill at Leicester. They want to get up. Oh yeah, absolutely. I should be. So do you think they're there. faster around here? Do you do they uh, tend to get I, more I speed so. up around here over the jump? I think so. We don't get the quality of horses that we do at the other tracks, but uh, no, no. Uh, Doncaster, I mean, they're fairly stiff fences. Mm -hmm. But again, they use the traditional hurdles, you see, so, mm -hmm. which and is a bit unusual being an arena leisure course, but now an open right. racing course. That's right, yeah. So yeah, maybe definitely. they'll go that way as well. But All right, well, thanks for your time, Tony, and Anytime, thanks for the insight Richard. into the track. Appreciate okay. that. No problem, Cheers. Thank Bye. You.